And as all of this plays out on the national stage, school safety top of mind for many districts around here, even though we've started summer break. A district in northwest Arkansas has had staff members in each school who are trained to carry guns since 2013. Catherine Gilker explains how it works. Clarksville Superintendent David Hopkins says it was after the Sandy Hook school shooting almost a decade ago that they knew they needed to do more to keep their students safe. With state legislation and school board approval, the district was able to implement the Commission School Security Program in 2013. They were one of the first districts to implement armed faculty and staff. The people that we've selected to help us with this program have been really great people. They're, they're intelligent, educated, and uh, they, they do well with training. The district has around 20 staff members across their five campuses who can still carry guns, including Superintendent Hopkins. They also have one school resource officer for all their campuses. He says locally the program has been very well received and supported. In order to provide multiple people in each building that are, that are armed and are always going to be there, that redundancy is built into it, I feel like that, that you have to go out to your staff for that, just given the cost of trying to have that many armed personnel on a campus. Those staff members train multiple times a year with range training and active shooter response training. Today, those staff members were having their active shooter response training by SRTS Incorporated, led by Joshua McMillan. He says the training these staff members are getting is the same training as law enforcement officers receive across our state. When an officer responds, and they meet up with a school security professional, they're on the same page with their tactics, with their response, and that school security official is actually taught to let law enforcement lead the way when they arrive on scene and to just act as what we call a force multiplier. Superintendent Hopkins says the reality is there will be more school shootings, and he believes the best response is having multiple trained and armed people in each school building at all times. What we have to do and what every school district has to do is self-examine and determine are they prepared, are they ready for something like that. I mean, it's a tragic situation and it's horrible to even try to get your mindset in a way to think about those things that, that, that occur, but we have to. In Clarksville, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News.